Hey, what's up YouTube? How's everybody doing? Um, this is Carlos with Twins Reef. Welcome to my channel. For those that have been following me through my reef journey here on YouTube would know that there has been a lot and a lot of videos of this 24 gallon off the top. There has been videos where I say the revival, the restoration of the 24 gallon. And there's videos that say the goodbye, the farewell of this 24 gallon aqua top tank and here's another video telling you guys that i am using this tank again uh i don't know what to call it but let's just jump right to it uh, let's get straight to the point so um this was my wife's tank um she outgrew it with corals and stuff so she had to upgrade so she did um, I cleaned the tank out. We were going to sell it. I didn't really put it up. It's not even up for sale. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let me just grab it. Because uh, I had my larger tank here in this area. But I only had one light. So I told her the light that you had on this tank did well with corals. So you know what? Let's just set up the aqua top tank. And let's use it as a temporary um, frag tank to, to keep. And also to keep a couple of clownfish we have. <laughs> Some fish that I got for free when I had bought some the Red Sea. I got two free fish. The twins, they had a 10 gallon, which I still have, but it's not set up. So we put the fish here and then we put the snow, the black snowflake here. So all the clownfish are doing well. They're here. So we'll do a close up on them. And also just corals that we actually had on our six gallon in the Red Marine frag tank, which is a tank that I like, but, um, I think this tank would do for now a little bit better because um, I wanted to add a couple of rocks which I didn't have no room or nowhere where to place them so there was a tank where I could put it but um, yeah let's let's jump into this tank and, and tell you guys what's going on so let's start with the core alright guys so let's dive into the tank and we'll start with the frag racks and you know what uh, I'll tell you guys a background story of all the corals that are, are here. Most of them are just corals that I fragged. Others are corals that they were in my wife's display tank that they weren't doing good. They weren't opening up. Some corals that they were dying and they had recovered. One thing that I've noticed, it is beneficial to keep a fragged system. Um, so this tank is perfect. Like I told my wife, it has a skimmer. Um, it has media baskets, everything. And you know what? The corals have opened up and done really well a lot of corals have recovered so let's start with the frag rag all right so here in the frag rag we can see we have a bunch of soas in the bot and the bottom frag rag and i'll try to um record as many as i can and auto focus let's see if the camera works with me um we have some in in insulators i forgot the name uh, we have some getterates um next to it and then I don't know the name for the other soa. On the top, we have some rastas. And then above some rastas, we have some blue type of soas that we got when I bought the Red Sea um, Emax 170. And just next to it, um, we have some scrambled eggs. Um, and next to the Rastas is another scrambled egg so a lot of these are duplicates and then next to one of the scrambled eggs where that snail is we have another Rasta frag um, and underneath there's some other type of soil which I, I can't see but you guys can't um, which I don't know the name for it at one point this soil I forgot I even had it because it was doing so bad um, but I've had it for a long time but finally has recovered and opened up it took a couple months now next to it, um, I think those are blondies or fruity loops. I don't know the proper name for them. If you guys know how to, in, um, if you guys know the proper name of them, please let me know in the comments below. And then on top of it, there's some other scrambled eggs. And then in the bottom, um, some more scrambled eggs. Next to those scrambled eggs, we have um, some pink zippers there. And above that pink zipper, there's scrambled eggs and some blondies I think above those scrambled eggs now we move to the top fr um, frag rack um, here what we could find is a digitata coral 
Um, when I had a 40 gallon breeder set up, I had success with it and then somehow, I don't know, I wasn't that good, that experience, it died. But recently I've been trying to keep them and they just died on me. Um, it was doing well in the frag, rag, frag tank, sorry, six gallon. Um, then we put it in my wife's tank, it did bad. And then back to the six gallon, got covered with algae, but now the cleanup crew in this tank has cleaned it up and it looks happy. Now we move to the right, we have some um, trumpet corals that we got from a local reefer. We bought him, I think like $10 of trumpets, but when he fragged them, he said he didn't frag them well. So he gave me a bunch of extras just in case um, some didn't make it. But they are doing good. Um, they These two, they were really covered with algae. Most of the corals here were covered with algae and um, the cleanup crew, like I said, has done a wonderful job. Um, now we move to the right. This, uh, a I think, mummy eye chalice, I'm not sure. This thing was dying and it still has tissue in it so I, ha I, I have it in this tank and hopefully it recovers and then we move over here as well um, we have this green um, Duncan my wife has a Duncan but it's more different the color more like a purplish green this one's pure green I got this with a Red Sea Emacs as well for free um, so that's the good thing of when you buy a used system sometimes you get some goodies and sometimes you don't but yeah so I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in my tank or I'll just probably just keep it here grow it out frag it sell it or just trade it in, in my local pet store and get some store credit to get corals that I actually want now if we move right to the back uh, we have a spicy lemon fabia this one we actually got um, for trade for a canvas painting my wife did um, I forgot what happened to it. Um, I know I placed it in the six gallon frag tank. At one point I had a current or orbit marine light, which that light really sucks. And pretty much um, made all my corals to lose their colors. But since I placed the other light and with this light, this fabia is coming back up and it has some color. And next to it is another fabia that I don't know, something fell on top of it. It got stung. Um, I thought it was gonna die, but since there's still flesh, I have it here. It's been like this for a, a couple a couple weeks now, and it's been doing well. So as long as it has flesh, it will be in this tank. Next to it is a hammer, which we got from the local reefer who sold us the trumpet corals. This one started stripping out of nowhere, um, and not, a couple of days ago, it was still hanging up and just a couple of days to just strip completely there's a little bit of tissue there but i'm pretty sure it's a goner but once that little tissue is gone then we'll just pull that out now next to it is a bicolor hammer and to be honest when i had this in my what was it uh in my integrated marine tank 30 gallon then when i upgraded to the 34 gallon it lost its color right away once i added it to those tanks um, but to be honest, this is my first time actually paying attention to it, and I'm so happy because they have it has recovered its color. I'm so like happy right now uh, as I'm <laughs> I'm making this video. It's my first time actually paying attention to it. Um, let me see if I can get a side view for these corals here. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, and next to it is a um, frog spawn which we got from that local um, reefer too. I had fragged this, my wife has one, and then I kept this one that had two heads, and then it started stripping out of nowhere, I don't know why, um, to the point it was like stripping off, but um, I have noticed that it has recovered, gained color as well, you know what, they look so beautiful now, um, these corals, so I'll probably keep them here for a week or so, once my red sea reefer tank, red sea tank is doing well, then I might add them. But for now, they'll be in the frag tank recovering. And yeah, I love these corals. I love it, Philia. Now let's jump to the bottom. Sorry, guys. Alrighty. So here we have a... I uh, forgot the name for these. Uh, oh, Goblin Fires. I forgot. But this coral, I got it for free. Uh, when I bought the 30-gallon long, I bought it used. Um, got free coral. 
It never did well, and it, it has never grown. It was always like not opening up, but it has finally opened up, and hopefully it populates pretty soon. And then under here we have more soas, which I'm trying to record, but it's a little bit harder, guys. Um, th there, it's a little bit harder, so. I don't even know the names of them, but everything is recovering. That's one thing I love about keeping a frag system. So we move here to this Coral 2 I, re I got when I bought the 30 long Innovator Marine tank. And it was fully covered. I've always fragged this SOA um, colony and just sell or trade the coral. And I've been thinking, you know what, of fragging it. But I gotta be super careful, wear some super long gloves wear some some glasses and a mask because polytoxin is nothing to play with um i could tell you guys by experience send me to the hospital so yeah but it has grown so much which i'm thinking of fragging and you know what keeping a uh, frag system grow corals trade them and yeah my now um above it we have some bam bams too that have been going pretty well um so thinking of fragging that too and next to the Bam Bams, we actually have a baby Deadpool, a wild Deadpool mushroom, which is an extra, so I'm keeping here, so hopefully a girl gets baby, and we can trade those in the future, guys. Last coral is this chalice too, that started dying, um, but now it has recovered, gained some color as well, so we'll leave it here until it fully recovers, um, so yeah. There's no rush, no hurry to placing these corals in my display tank. Uh, I'll just let them recover, be themselves, and when I think they're ready, um, I'll place them there. As long as they're good right now, I shouldn't mess with it. Like they say, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Now let's go with the clownfish. So here's some pericula clownfish. And dude, I never knew about pericula clownfish. I thought they were all hilarious until I got these when I purchased the red tea tank. Um, I think three of them came. And yeah, they're here. Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to record while my sons are here. Um, so yeah, they're here in this tank. I'm thinking of keeping them or I'm looking at home for them. And um, right here we have the snowflake too. Beautiful, clownfish could be beautiful. So as long as they do good, I'll probably just keep them all. As long as they, they do good as groups, I might just keep them all. What you guys think? So I have three pericula clownfish. I think two periculas. I have the black snowflake clownfish. And then I think I have a false pericula, which is that one in the bottom. I think so. Because periculas are like that one, I think. And then the other one is a false pericula. And then in the back, we have the oscillaries. These were the twins fish. Um, baby Nemos, um, they're here too. So all the clownfish are doing pretty well. Um, and we have a cleanup crew of snails and hermit crabs that have been doing their job. I honestly just feed this tank once a day and that's it. Light schedule from 12 to 10 and everything has been doing well. Anyhow guys, um, this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I am trying to bring as much content as I can to this channel. I thank all the, I thank all the new subscribers. Um, I thank all the new subscribers to this Bye. channel. Um, so Bye. it's almost time to go to bed. I'll put these little munchkins to bed, and I'll upload this video. Um, thank you guys again. If you guys like this type of content, um, you guys are welcome to subscribe, comment, like and happy reefing and we're out peace Bye.